Welcome. Your presence here is no coincidence. It marks the beginning of a meaningful connection designed to deliver a powerful message from Apostle Joshua Selman right to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also ignite inspiration for greatness within you. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the profound in before we dive deeper. I warmly invite you to actively participate in this significant moment. Show your support by liking the video. Hear me? And the Bible says, And that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. And he said, Bring me the chronicles. And they found where Mordecai saved his life and was not rewarded. And he says, Who is in the chamber there? And the evil man, Haman, was called. He said, What shall be done to this man? Thinking it was him, he gave the best suggestion. He said, Do the same immediately to Mordecai. I want to pray for someone here. It may look like you have been forgotten. Can I tell you the truth? People don't just remember. They are made to remember. Most of you from this night, I, I stand by the God of heaven and I tell you, you will receive strange calls this night. People, numbers that have not attended to you for years. I fear God. I will not stand here and waste your time. You are intelligent and responsible people. I know what I'm seeing that is making me say what I'm saying. Let me repeat it again. There are many people this night, I am telling you as, as, as surely as the sun rises in the day and sets, I pray for you and I declare according to the vision of the Lord, those who have forgotten you, in the name of Jesus tonight, we place an anointing upon your life. Let there be remembrance for good. Let there be remembrance for good. Now listen, we want to pray for the sick. Just sit down there. I'm about to pray for you. Now listen carefully. No, no, no. You don't have to bring them out except if she's just dro dropping something. Don't worry. I'm going to pray for everyone. Mama, don't worry. You sit. I'm going to pray for you now. Now please hear me. Shortly I'm going to ask you to stand. I'm asking you to sit because that's the only way to bring some order. Now we'll do this very, very fast. The prayer requests, remember when they are ready, please you can bring them here and just place them before the Lord. I want to pray for the sick. I believe in miracles. Now when I pray for the sick very quickly, I'm going to request that you do what you could not do before. And the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, please if possible if I can have maybe one or two pastors just somewhere here so that they can confirm you and then we'll take a few yes any of you at all we can take a few miracles some of you already from what has happened you are seeing that there are already miracles I want to pray for you are you ready now to be prayed for listen to me Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 Peter was preaching in the house of Cornelius and this is what he had to say how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing not they that were sick, they that were oppressed. For God was with him. I'm about to pray for you and I want you to believe. You came with someone sick. I want you to believe. Whether you are inside or outside, Jesus is wherever you are. Some of you are standing in for loved ones who are not here. Wherever you are, I want to pray for you right now. Please stand on your feet if you can. Now the moment I pray, those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out. Just guide them. I want to pray for you. 
believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. We are standing to respect that anointing. Believe in impossible miracles. Right now. I have seen God work wonders and miracles in the lives of people. And tonight, it is my joy again as we celebrate the mighty and the marvelous hands of God. Now, someone is going to shout loud under the anointing. Listen, the moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. I'm only asking you to stand in faith with me and to agree as I pray. That's not the shout. The shout you are hearing. That's a shout there. Now let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on South Africa. You can say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hmm. My God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My God. The power of God is moving here. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right now I decree and I declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every spirit that is back of any disease and infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. I command you let their destinies go now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Now I decree and declare, help them. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet. Oh, that fire is coming on you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood conditions be healed right now in Jesus' name. Yeah. HIV be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Every bone condition, inability to walk, inability to stand, using an aid, I command be healed now. Every kind of blindness, partial blindness, complete blindness, I command those eyes to open now. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Deaf ears be open now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lady you have, I don't know, a growth around your breast area. I command that devil to go now. Every growth around your body, hear the word of the Lord. I command that it dissolves and goes now. Yeah. Peptic ulcer. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Asthma. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Severe heat around the body. Just your body, whether it's cold or hot. There's, there's that hotness around the body. The power of God is touching you right now. There's someone you couldn't lift your hand. I don't know what pain you came here with. But right now, as I'm praying, the power of God is touching you. I'm seeing someone, I don't know what the condition is now. But you are not able to turn with your neck. You feel severe like a sprain. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone having heart, a heart condition. I don't know what the condition is, but it is, you have a problem with your heart. We correct it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Pile. Very painful condition of pile. Right now, as I pray for you, the power of God is touching you right now, where you are. Be healed right now.
someone just at your back here the lumbar area I'm seeing that you've had severe pain it's almost as if you cannot stand and stretch I declare right now the power of God is touching you please believe it the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ your left leg for someone your left leg I don't know whether I, around your knee area I don't know what the problem is but the power of Jesus is touching you right now amen high blood pressure goes down right now goes down right now goes down right now hepatitis the Lord is healing hepatitis of all sorts in the name of Jesus be healed right now I don't know what problem you have with your throat um, it, it's been so for a very long time so it is not COVID but you have it's almost as though your throat is always dry you treat it and it's not being healed and you feel almost as if there is an injury there I'm praying for you right now the power of God is touching you this moment and if there is any family member you know across South Africa who is suffering from COVID-19 of Jesus Christ may the power of God touch them wherever they are right now yeah. hallelujah now whether I mention your case or not in there's someone is it appendicitis you are already beginning to feel very severe symptoms of it but the power of God is touching you wherever you are right now in fact, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing someone right now in the hospital. This is a kidney problem. I don't know if it's your father or someone, a kidney problem. This is, this is a situation that humanly speaking, except maybe a kidney replacement or something of that sort. Otherwise, based on the current kidney is almost damaged. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we speak life to the body of father wherever he is. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus now hear me a permanent in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God that has touched you we decree that that same power will preserve you in Jesus name I pray amen and amen the prophetic ministry the prophetic ministry the prophetic ministry Tear that water, the prophetic ministry, the eyes that see and the ears that hear, the prophetic ministry. I call that depth in the spirit. Let the fountains be open. Let the fountains be open. Watch us, prophetic intercessors. Grades Caduciata, I stir up that well, stir up that well, the eyes that see, the ears that hear. Ali Baraco Sobrenge Beretusia, said, Is he who comes in the name of our God? Hear me. The Lord is saying, I am restoring visions and dreams. There are many of you who have lost this faculty in the spirit. God used your dreams to show you things. But I'm seeing oil, oil coming on people. A restoration, a restoration. That ability in the spirit, a restoration, a restoration. After the order of Joseph, dream destiny dreams see your future in dreams and prophetic encounters ani shabaronda sevalesco bas rata balako sabristemis hallelujah Please listen to me. The Lord is showing me a vision 
I'm seeing a pot that was broken, but I'm seeing a hand mending it back. And the Lord is saying, I'm restoring. There are people you have lost things. You've lost relationships. You've lost opportunities. The porter is greater than the clay because he has the power to remold. Is someone hearing? I speak restoration. You will marvel and wonder the testimonies that come out of this. For some of you, it's restoration of years. You lost opportunities. My God is restoring, 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 restoring family, restoring marriages, restoring relationships by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is saying, I should tell someone, you are still a vessel that I will use. I don't know what this means. The Lord is saying, I should tell someone, you are still a vessel that I will use. Oh, even if you have been like Samson, that your eyes have been plucked and your hair has been cut, even now, even now, even now, the same way the shepherd will come and fight for one ear and two legs, God is saying, even now, you He's, he's telling me to tell someone, you are still a vessel that he will use. I may not know what has happened around your life, but you are still a vessel. That prophetic word over you has not changed. You can start afresh in the spirit again. You can start afresh in the spirit again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen to me, you cannot be a witness if you don't have a genuine encounter with God. You can play church, you can play sermons, you can play religion, but I tell you sincerely, you cannot deny the potency of a genuine encounter. You can argue it, you can live in denial, but the truth remains the truth. I'm praying for you, the grace that makes for encounters, that draw men beyond the outer court, beyond the inner court that leads you to virgin chambers in the spirit where you will see and where you will hear where you will know God for who he is deriving confidence audacity from those encounters may that grace rest upon you the Bible says blessed is the man who God causes to approach him I pray for you let that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ now please look up please look up be sensitive you are receiving something here do you know what the Bible calls the power to prosper the power to prosper is not an anointing that makes you rich no that is an ignorant person's definition of it it has nothing to do with money the power to prosper is the grace that sponsors advancement Listen, please. Listen, please. You do not have the power to prosper. You will never make constructive progress. You will only keep recycling seasons. Are we together? The power to prosper is an ability. It's an engracing that comes from God to men. That grace comes to honor something God told Abraham. That in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed that for that mission and that prophetic word to come to pass there is an engracing from the spirit that men need to receive it's called the power to prosper here's how it functions please listen the first assignment of the power to prosper is to alter your perception and your understanding are we together now that power causes you to begin to see things in a certain way it reconstructs your mindset it reconstructs your consciousness, your perception. It engraces you to perceive things in a supernatural way. Bringing you enlightenment and understanding at an unusual rate. Number two, the power to prosper rests upon the works of your hands. It brings extraordinary productivity. That you are able to produce results beyond the natural course of things beyond your training, 
beyond your secular training then the power to prosper comes upon your feet giving you direction and guidance listen carefully there is a difference between direction and guidance direction is focus on revealing the destination guidance is focus on showing you how to get there if the only thing you have is direction you will still be as confused as someone who does not know if I am directing you my focus is the destination are we together now yes but when you receive guidance it shows you the steps so if I'm to direct you out of this room I can point a door there and say follow it you will be surprised that you will not be aware that there are staircases are we together now and that the topography is not the same that's the assignment of guidance to let you know when you step up let you know when you step down so that you can get there the power to prosper can direct you to the right relationships for some of you that's the grace that brought you here you see it directs you so that you meet the right people the right connections the right relationships those who carry this mysterious ability it looks like they are holding some charm or something because they always meet the right people it edits wicked people from your life and insists that everyone you meet becomes a destiny helper it's called the power to prosper for some of you you have been in UK now please don't feel offended and that includes those watching you've been in UK for years what you lack is that divine direction that this engraces brings you've met all kinds of wrong people who have taken advantage of you the issue is not hoping things will change it will not change until the right grace upon you rests I know this this is how business people get correct partners and help us it's not by guessing if you choose men based on your eyes you will choose Judas because he can kiss but you will not know that the kiss of Judas is not a sign of intimacy it's a signal to the enemy that this is the one to die if I were to choose any disciple based on the outworking of their behavior Judas would be my first port of call a man who holds money and can kiss that's a good man to be part of because at least it's a sign of love so I assume that if I'm in trouble he will comfort me except that sometimes a kiss can be a sign to the enemy this is the one to die even Samuel as accurate as he was when it had to do with ordaining the next king he was about to miss it he carried the vial and was about he said he saw Eliab and said surely not with this build God cannot waste this kind of macho man and God says stop that's not how I choose men the wilderness there is a boy smelling but called with no decorum no sense of order but he's still the chosen and he said wait and Samuel said will not sit until that boy comes here I know what that grace has done in my life I know what it can do in the lives of men you will never be able to select the right people using brain work you will make too many mistakes and all it takes to destroy you is one mistake but that grace will put together supposed weak men and yet you will see the result that comes out from that I always wondered why Jesus chose the kind of disciples he chose he did not choose it with any man assisting him. So you would not say somebody tampered with his intelligence. Jesus prayed all night and looked the kind of weak doubters and all these people. But did the job get done? Yes, the job was done. Because if you had chosen wise people, they would be too wise to be meek, too wise to be obedient, too wise to be repentant, too wise to be malleable. It's called the way of the spirit. Just like you do not know the way of the wind nor how bones are formed in her that is with child. The way of God is strangely mysterious. I'm saying this because I want to speak over your life. Bring the prayer request, please. You've tabernacled in this place from morning even up till now. 
The call, come up hither. It's not just a clarion call to see more. It challenges you, but it also brings you into virgin experiences. Experiences that hitherto have not yet been captured in your spirit work. Please listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. It is true that graces are transferable. It is true that our results in this kingdom depend on the kind and the quality of grace that is upon your life. There are many preachers who are tired of their realms, their dimensions. There are many business people. Many of you have not tasted of the help and the favor of God. That name Ebenezer is a strange name in your work with God because you have not seen any reality that relates to that. I'm going to spend the next one, two minutes speaking over your life and then we pray over this request. We're wrapping up. But by all means, let your hearts be open. If you are yet to submit your request, please, don't spare. Send it. Let the God of wonders do something in your life. You don't have to bring them out under the anointing again. I just want to pray for these ones. There's a reason why I ask that you bring them out. In the name of Jesus, the grace to stay, the grace to remain until you become. May that grace rest on you. The grace to fast. The kind of consecration that will bring you to the place of authentic power. Let that grace rest on you. May you be as discerning as the men of Issachar. Having the ability to see and interpret the writings on the wall. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please listen. When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, I'm about to pray a serious prayer now. Please make sure someone is holding them so that we don't have any casualties. Let me have your attention. You've heard me say it and I always do this in honor to an instruction that he gave. When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me and the light that came from him gushed into my being, in a letter encounter, he would give me an instruction. He said, to every nation that I send you, to every person, every people group, there will always be someone there who will receive the light that came from me to you. There are dimensions in the spirit you don't learn. You know it's an endowment. It's a deposit of the spirit. And I want to pray that prayer for you. The light came by mercy. It came by grace. It's not an effort of any man. There is no bragging. Father, upon men and women, sons and daughters, across this European space, here at this beautiful auditorium tonight, find faithful witnesses. Find men and women who will drink of this light. I stretch my hands and I pray. Like the dew of Hammon, let it rest on you. Like the dew of Hammon, let it rest on your ministry. Let it rest on your business. The light that brings undeniable results. The light that compels. The light that announces. In the name of Jesus, receive it. Let it rest on you. Let it rest on you. Command signs and wonders in ministry. Command signs and wonders in business. Let that light attract helpers. Attract blessers. You will never be without help. You will never be without witnesses. You will never be left alone. Not in any kingdom project. This light will call men by the Spirit. Call nations by the Spirit. Call kings by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This light will bring resources to you, mysteriously so. Bring resources to you in business. Bring resources to you in ministry. You will never be without help in the name of Jesus Christ. And every door that has been closed over your destiny, 
I stand in partnership with all the graces here represented. In the name of Jesus, I speak to those doors. Ephata, be open. Ephata, a sound in the spirit. Be open, Tita and Hita. In the name of Jesus. Please hear me. Everyone here who is owing financially, mortgage issues, bills, you are in debt, just believe me, take your mind away from, don't worry, you just believe God. Please, in the name that is above all names, I've been in debt before. I know what it means. The Bible says to comfort others with the same comforts that you have received. I pray for you. The prophet said by this time tomorrow, in the name that is above all names, I program a climate of favor over you. By the spirit of grace, I program a climate of favor, a mysterious climate of favor over your destiny. May resources rush to you. Come out of debt now. Come out of financial shame now. Come out of reproach now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything dead or dying. Dead or dying. Organs in your body as a result of some infirmity. Your business dying. Your enterprise dying. Your spiritual life dying. I want to speak to it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tali Takumi, come back to life. Everything dead, everything dying, hear the word of the Lord. Come back to life now. Dead body parts, dead organs, come back to life now. Dead businesses, career pursuits, come back to life now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards these requests. And I want you to just make faith declarations. Please stretch your hands by faith. Hallelujah. Here's what will happen. Since um, we are praying over this. Is, is everybody, do we have all the requests here? Please stretch your hands. I'll bow my knees and pray. You don't have to kneel. You just stretch your hand by faith and believe. And those of you who are online, you can stretch by faith and follow. When a serious business of delivery, bringing things from the realm of the spirit, giving frame and form to them, making them manifest by the spirit of grace. Go ahead and pray in one minute. You are praying in the spirit. You are making declarations. Sani baron sandi la caporas cabres shadi barado zivesh in the name of Jesus Alina shabras cabrina shala grosse bredish transform families transform families transform families transform families by the power of the Holy Spirit, transform families. Transform families. Let doors be open. Yokes broken by the power of the Holy Spirit. Destiny is rewritten by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Impossible situations addressed by the mercy of God. Father, release miracles. Let your people testify. In the now, please listen. We're getting ready to wrap up. My apologies, I couldn't give you the five prophetic things that God is doing in this season, just to honor what God has decided to do tonight. But there are three instructions I want to leave you with as we wrap up this conference. Number one. As an act of your will, design a systemic prayer life. 
a systemic prayer life. Not just a prayer life. A systemic prayer life. Please listen. A systemic prayer life. There is nothing in the Bible called the gift of prayer. There is the spirit of prayer and supplication. But there is a labor in word and in prayer. The apostolic model that was given to the church according to Acts 2.42. The Bible says, and they continued steadfastly in prayer, in fellowship, in breaking of bread. You see that? Acts chapter 6 and verse 4. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. You want to rise and ascend realms in the spirit? You must create a systemic prayer life. Number two, you must be intentional about your press for light. Illumination, authentic, provable illumination that comes by the word. That means you must obtain grace to grow in the word. It is a responsibility that you, you need to impose upon yourself. Acts chapter 20, I believe, and verse 32. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up. And to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Are we together? You need to damage ignorance. Fight ignorance. Make it a project. And there are three ways you engage the word of God. Number one, you study it in scripture. Number two, you listen to it. There is the hearing of faith. Number three, there is the confession of faith. Don't trivialize this. They are not elementary is how the system of the kingdom works. Don't change the formula. You study to show yourself approved. You listen to build faith through repetition that creates conviction. And you speak the word because there is a prophetic component to every believer. Number three, I like you to value his presence in the place of worship. Every anointing has a consecration requirement. It is not enough to receive. You must master the laws that protect the grace you are given. If you are Samson, the secret is on your hair. You need to understand how to protect the anointing. Are we together? Number four, make up your mind to find your place by the spirit of grace in God's prophetic blueprint. Thank God for your love and labor. But make sure you end living a purposeless life. You cannot just be escorting men around the corridors of destiny. He says, lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do your will. Jeremiah 1, 5. Right from when you were in your mother's womb, before thou camest forth, I called you and ordained you to be a prophet even to the nations. You must find your place in God's prophetic blueprint. Are we together? Yeah. Now I'm going to give you the last instruction. You must do all you can taking advantage of the grace of God to walk in love. Now listen carefully. This looks very simple. But everything in the kingdom is powered by love. It means you have to protect your love life. Protect it from offense. Like John the Baptist. Who could not protect. He could protect every other thing. Including the secrets given to him about Jesus. But he could not protect his love life. It was offense that made him become a prey. Till he died as a birthday gift. That's not how prophets die. No. But that's what offense can reduce a great man to become. Make up your mind that you will walk in love. Satan aborts the seeds that we receive by bringing offense, bringing pain. You go back home and there are thousand and one things to agitate you. Make up your mind. I will, as an act of my will, walk in love. You will look foolish walking in love, but remember that's what defeated death. Hmm. Where power failed, love went beyond it. Don't think love is feminine at all. That is the power that purchased redemption. Power 
is a child that comes out of love. Faith is a child that comes out of love. Signs and wonders are children that come out of love. By this shall all men know. Koinonia, listen. Koinonia, UK, listen. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples. Not when you pray in tongues. Not if you pray in tongues. Not if you sow seeds. Not if you are an apostle or a prophet. No. You have love not for God. One to another. You cannot call upon the name of the Lord and hate your brother and hate your sister. The Bible says you are a hypocrite. It's as clear and as simple as that. The height of transformation is not enlightenment. It's love. You know you are really transformed when you have the stamina to remain in love in spite of, regardless. Make up your mind to walk in love. For some of you, you need to go back home and mend bridges. I know you fell under the anointing. Don't waste the experience. It's not all about the charismatism. The love of Christ must dwell in you. The Bible says the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the koinonia, sharing together of the spirit, the participation, it says to remain with you. This is my final charge. Your prayer life, you must not compromise on your prayer life. It takes discipline. Find a faithful friend who can help you. There are times you don't have to do it alone. Find somebody. Somebody has to love you enough. I told our family back in Nigeria that everybody cannot hate you. Even Satan is not hated by everybody. Somebody loves him. You cannot say everybody hates you. No. It's unusual to be hated by everybody because Satan is loved. There are terrorists today who have wives and children. Knowing they are terrorists, they still married. Somebody was willing to say, I will spend the rest of my life with you, knowing you will kill every day. So everybody cannot hate you. Now, leave those who don't like you and look for those who like you. You will find somebody who is genuine, true, sincere. Maybe not perfect, but sincere. Sincere enough to pray with you and let iron sharpen iron. Are we together? Can I add one more charge? Walk in humility. Walk in humility. Resist the temptation of pride. Resist it. It's a temptation. Fight it in the name of Jesus. You will return back and you will see extraordinary dimensions walking in you. Just when you want to brag and boast and behave like Lucifer, remember. Remember, the anointing was only designed to fight what is against God. But if it is God who is doing the fighting, the anointing cannot work. The anointing only fights what is anti-Christ. So when God is the one fighting you, no level of impartation will bring a revenge. Who fights him? He's the warrior himself. I have seen the damaging effect of pride. I learned this early in life and in ministry. Even when he does great things to us as individuals and as a family of faith, please listen. Make sure you do not get into the temptation of competing, competition. No, run away from that. It's a satanic, luciferian attitude. There is one body, one faith, one Lord, one baptism. Are we learning now? These two things, if you forget anything I said, let's assume you were sleeping from morning till now. Let's assume you just woke up and you're asking, can you repeat one thing? I won't repeat everything I said, but I will repeat this. Love and humility. If this is all you carry, you had a great conference. Love and humility. Hallelujah. Let me make the altar call my final assignment. Sound of Revival comes in September. And this time around, we're going to Leeds First Direct Arena. And we trust God for grace. But let me make the altar call. Please minimize movements. Let's honor the Lord one last time. And then we're done. You are in this place and you're saying, Apostle, I need Jesus genuinely truthfully i came here to listen to a preacher but i had jesus 
And I heard him calling me to deeper realms, deeper dimensions. At the gallery, following online, everywhere. I want to give you this one last chance. Wherever you are, I'm going to count one to five. And I'm calling two sets in one. Those who have never made a genuine decision for Jesus. Or number two, those who are saying, Apostle, I want to rededicate my life. I truly need to do this before I leave. Wherever you are, I'm going to count. Oh, Minister Sinach is here. I'm going to still plead. I thought she had gone, so... I will still do what I asked, I said she would do. And um, I will take the altar call and then please, let me give her a minute to just speak over those called into the worship ministry, prophetic psalmistry, just to speak over their lives. And um, I believe that graces can be transferred. But let's finish the altar call. You are coming, please come. You are coming, please run. One, two, come to Jesus. Please come. Run to Jesus. Come. He wants to play. You receive Jesus first, then you can play. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Come. Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way One more time Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no water. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no water. So, thank you so very much. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. This is a good place to end. Please rise up on your feet. Thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you for come up hither. Thank you for Koinonia UK. We grow from grace to grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the mighty hand of God go with you. I call you signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. The rod of the wicked will never rest around your lot. You are distinguished by the Spirit. Loving Jesus every day. Serving Jesus every day learning him and living for him in the name of jesus i declare that the lines have fallen for you in pleasant places you have a goodly heritage may the lord bless you you go forth with joy you are led forth with peace in the name of jesus amen and amen let's share the grace together the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rests and abide with us now and forever amen surely all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please greet and hug at least 10 people and then you can be on your I am confident that the sermons you've immersed yourself in have served as a wellspring of blessings, uplifting your life and instilling a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a warm invitation for you to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel. By activating the notification bell, you ensure that you remain connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos. Your subscription signifies more than a mere click. It represents a pledge to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aspires to be a haven for both spiritual seekers and devoted believers. We ardently believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our objective is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community Subscribe and allow the radiant light of divine wisdom to illuminate your path. We express our gratitude for your integral role in this uplifting journey, and we pray that God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen.
Stay connected with us on all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel. And feel free to explore our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you. And may God abundantly bless you.